Do you have the whiskey? Yes, here comes your tonic. Oh, this is just what I need. All right, lead the way. Thank you for coaxing him down. I asked. He wouldn't listen. What could I do? That's okay. You're still an excellent cook, Kaiser. Oh, thank you. Alec is really lucky to have you. Oh, but he's always disappointed about something. Now, there are these footprints to deal with. Footprints? Wet ones, on the floor, coming out of the shower. Don't know where they go. Interesting. Thanks. Lieutenant, come join us. If there's room for three, there's always room for four. Join me, Lieutenant, join me! Oh, Mr. Detective, would you care to join us? Sure, why not? Oh, how splendid! Right on! If three's company, then four's even better! <laughs> It's stuffy in here. I need some fresh air. A dance, mademoiselle? Yeah, I don't dance, babe. There you go. Much obliged. Can I buy you something, Broom? Sure, I'll drink to that. You are quite the degenerate. You know you can't go on like this. I guess you'd better report me then. I could always write you up myself. Sorry, I need to help Simone. He can't seem to put his room to order. He says there's something wrong with the bed. I'll be in the billiard room. How about this, Peter? After this round, I'll pass you the baton. You're up next, Lieutenant! Are you in the mood for a glass of my fine liqueur? Sure, single glass would be nice. So, are you getting used to its kick? Yes, 
It's a grand concoction. I'm going to sit by the fireplace. Let's have a drink, Peter, to such a fine party and its fabulous hosts. How can I refuse a toast like that? Excellent. So how do you like it here? The building is great. The outdoors are amazing. I've always dreamed of a place like this. It's just like Scandinavia. It reminds me so much of home. Mm, never been there. Sounds nice. Peter, you must come and visit. The outdoors are never more bracing. The women are never warmer. I will make an effort, of course. We'll drink to my motherland that I have come to miss so much. Can't say no to that. To Norway. To Norway. Great. Okay, that's enough for me. Inspector, I love policemen. It's a beautiful night, isn't it? Care to join me? With pleasure, Olga. You're a real man. It was great. It was amazing. It's not necessary to come into Mr. Moses' room without his permission. You're a real man. It was great. It was amazing. Lieutenant, what the hell have you been doing in my wife's room? I think something happened in there. What? Oh no, please. Darling, are you alright? This policeman tells me something happened to you. Everything's fine, darling. I just wanted to read a bit. As you can see, Lieutenant, she's perfectly well. So now, if you will, get out! What happened, Lieutenant? That's what I wanted to ask you about. I think there has been an avalanche not far from here. Hold on a moment, please. Bad luck. For now, at least, we're completely cut off. What do you mean, cut off? When do you plan to return from your vacation? I've got until the 20th. Why? All right. 
then you might have a chance of returning to duty on schedule. What could have caused it? Don't tell me he finally came back. It's not as bad as all that yet. The road is blocked. I just tried to call out. The lines are down. That can mean just one thing. The avalanche has blocked the bottleneck, which you might recall is the only way into my valley. This is not so uncommon. It has happened periodically over the last 10 years. So how bad is it? All we can do now is wait until they remember us and pull together a rescue team. How are we on fuel? We should have enough fuel. Besides, we always have my perpetual motion machine on standby. Why? Are they made of wood? I don't understand why you're so skeptical. Anyway, what you should be asking about is food and drink. Well, what about them? Our supplies will last a month, so we're safe from cannibalism for the time being unless we want to add some variety to our menu. But I warn you, I won't let you eat Kaisa. The worst thing for me is this feeling that I've missed out on some good customers. How do you mean? Hinkus friends were due to arrive soon. What? Hinkus's friends? He called and left them a telegram. Muir, Dead Mountaineers Hotel, waiting, hurry, Something along those lines. Very interesting. I admit I have my own doubts, but either way, he'll have no visitors now, at least not before the avalanche is cleared. Can we contact Muir? I'm afraid we can't. Wait, do you hear that? Someone is coming. Yes, do you hear that scratching? Hinkus's friends? No, it sounds too strange. I'm afraid it may finally be him. Shall we open the door? Kaisa, come here, quick! Peter, this may be one of Hinkus's friends. We need to tell him. Kaisa and I can handle things here. Right, I'll go find him. I'll put the poor creature up on one of Moses' rooms. Weird. Hinkus isn't here. What was that? It sounded like it came from the museum. Clearly I should help him, but that knot is too tight to untie barehanded. I need a tool to work with. Clearly I should help him, but that knot is too tight to untie barehanded. I need a tool to work with. What happened here? What happened? 
Isn't it bleeding obvious? Someone hogtied me and threw me under a table. Who? If I knew, don't you think I'd say? Good grief, I, I need a drink. You don't have any more of that scotch on you, do you, Lieutenant? No, but I'll go dig some up. Right, I'll wait here. Where's the guy we dragged in? He's at the Moses's. Thank you. There was only the one bottle of scotch. Still, I recall Detective Scoot's legends about the liquor supply at this hotel. Perhaps the wine cellar warrants a poke around. Speaking about wine benefit, the French scientists emphasize the factor of moderation. Just one shot, Lieutenant. Uh, Here, take a swig of this. Uh, thank you, Lieutenant, for saving me. Hinkus, do you happen to know a short, bald man with one arm missing? What do you care who my friends are? Look, I know that you sent your friends a telegram. 
For all I know, they might have gotten caught in the avalanche. This man turned up here and immediately fell unconscious. No, I don't have any friends like that. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. You're barking up the wrong tree. Who tied you up? How should I know? I was taking a nap. Didn't you wake up when you were attacked? He caught me from behind. I only have two eyes. Come on, Hinkers. Quit lying already. God damn it. I don't want to talk about it. Can't you see that? All right. Yes, I saw it. I saw who it was. But, hell, if I'm going to tell anyone who I saw, not even you, you die of fright right where you stand. Listen, Hinkers. The one who attacked you, surely you must have seen him earlier, during the day. No, that's all. I can't talk about it. No! When were you attacked? Oh, hell. It looks like I crushed my watch. I think around nine o'clock. Last I looked at the watch, it was 8.40. All right. I guess you can go back to your room now. Lieutenant, um, I think you'd better lock me up. Are you afraid to stay in your room? Yes, listen, you, uh, I am, um, you come to see me today, okay? Uh, maybe I, I will remember something else, or, or maybe I could stay with you. I won't, you know, uh, run off or anything, no, I swear. Fine. Room number six. Not a good plan, disturbing the guests this late at night. It's late. I should let the others rest while they can. So, how is he? He is weak. His body is like a dishrag. How do you feel? Mmm. Mmm. Were you alone? Mmm. Mmm. Did anyone stay behind in the car? Mm -mm. How do you feel? Mmm. Mmm. Were you alone? Mmm. Mmm. Did anyone stay behind, in the car? Mm -mm. We 
We'll talk later. Hmm. Hmm. Olaf. What did you say? An accident. Call Olaf. Where is Olaf and Vara Force? He's here. He's coming. We need to go fetch Olaf. Let's us two go upstairs. We can leave Lel here. Lel, come here. Sit. Guard. Good boy. Olaf, open up. Olaf, open the door. Gentlemen, what is this uproar? Why can't you just let your guests sleep? A thousand apologies, Mr. Dubon Stoker, but we have a situation here that requires immediate action. Oh, really? I do hope I shan't bother you. 